When concrete is stressed to near breaking point, tiny cracks can start spreading deep within the heart of the material. Not only are these micro cracks, as they're called, potentially deadly, but frighteningly, they're invisible to the naked eye. You can only see them under a microscope. It's impossible to know for sure whether the crucial supporting columns of the Hotel New World were suffering from this dangerous disease. But if micro cracks are ignored, they eventually cause the surface of pillars to fracture, greatly reducing the amount of weight they can support. At this point, the building would be on the verge of collapse. If the team is correct, like woodworm eating away timber from within, micro cracking would have weakened the concrete columns in the building until they were effectively rotten. But where could the extra weight that causes micro cracking have come from? As the site is being cleared, the investigators see massively heavy objects being pulled from the rubble. They examine the blueprints to see whether these were allowed for in the original plans and make a startling discovery. During the 15 years of its lifespan, the building owner added extra loads to the Hotel New World that were not part of the original design. The team learns that in 1975, the bank built a steel-reinforced strongroom weighing 22 tons on the ground floor. Then in 1978, the building owner installed two air conditioning towers, adding extra weight. In 1982, to improve the building's lackluster appearance, workmen fixed heavy-duty ceramic glazed tiles to the exterior walls. The weight? Over 50 tons. Finally, in 1986, before the collapse, the building owner installed yet another air conditioning tower on the roof to make conditions in the sweltering Singapore heat more comfortable. The investigators believe all this extra weight must have been too much to bear. All modern buildings are designed to support what the experts call the dead load and the live load. The dead load is the weight of the building itself. But for the investigators, the crucial calculation is the live load, the extra weight consisting of people and objects ranging from air conditioning towers to furniture, which a building has to support. Could the building support over 100 tons of extra live load placed upon it? The answer is a big surprise. The calculation showed that the live load was adequately supported. Set against the 6,000 ton weight of the building itself, the live load, including over 100 tons of strongroom, tiles, and air conditioning units, was insignificant. It should not have caused the building's 36 pillars to give way. The team is back at square one. After months of painstaking work, they still don't know what happened. The team is certain they must have missed some vital clue that will enable them to understand why Singapore's Hotel New World collapsed. They return to the blueprints and pore over photos of the damaged columns again and again. Clutching at straws, they double-check the calculations made by the draftsman for the weight of the building itself, the dead load. What they find is a revelation, a fatal mistake, that means for the entire 15 years after its construction, the building was on the verge of catastrophe. The amazing thing was, basically, this draftsman was allowed for the live load and he'd forgotten the dead load. It's an astonishing discovery, a schoolboy mistake. The calculations made by the draftsman were so badly wrong that key columns, such as 26 and 32, could not even support the weight of the building itself. 